Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 2 Crystal Souls. We are in the Hidden Slith Outpost in the middle of the Eastern Gallery. And I guess we're about to have a fight against the Shaman and the Mage here. And some warriors. Okay. Shaman, not too bad. I guess we're going to focus on him. Or her. Like so. That works. Get some haste. Okay. Some asset damage. These guys are trying to swarm us. Okay. You will go and intercept that warrior. Oh, actually, just kill him. That's That works too. Uh, you heal yourself. And I guess give us all some war chant. For support, you can do this. Maybe even kill the mage right here. I said kill the mage right here. Like so, thank you. Yeah, these guys are so easy. It's really interesting. I mean, at this point it's perfectly clear that... Oh, what? Can't reach? Oh. Oh, because you can't move. That makes sense. Um... At this point, it's perfectly clear that uh, the Eastern Gallery is exactly where we're supposed to be at this point, or yeah, at our current level. In fact, if anything, most enemies in here are even a bit easy. Not that I'm complaining or anything. But uh, yeah, many things on the way to the Eastern Gallery just slightly off the path were so or are still so hard though it's uh, interesting an interesting way to lay out the different difficulty areas i guess energy elixir um yeah you get this you sell that one you are collecting these and i got one for a quest or something i don't actually remember but i did remember seeing that before. So here we are. Is this altar actually evil though? Hmm. Let's check. Do have a couple of these. Makes the altar vibrate, then it chatters with a satisfying booming sound. Oh, cool. So that was slightly evil. Evil enough to be sanctified by our ritual. Whoops. Um, there. Hello, nameless shaman. There we have a barrier to dispel. I'm really tempted, now that we learn where to, where we can potentially learn to dispel barriers. I'm actually tempted to return to the Great Cave and make a quick trip. Well, as, as quick as it's gonna be directly to Fort Emerald. Almost up to 30 intelligence. Pretty sweet. Um, or Arcane Lore. Yeah. And let's see here. Blessing Focus? Yeah, might as well get that mixed up. Spears. Oh, fine leather. Very good. If we ever actually get access to or crafting crafting something useful out of that. So the things we can make right now are unfortunately not particularly useful to us. Okay, and the spelling worked. That's good to know. This passage gets colder as you walk south. The stone floor becomes slick with thrust. You start to feel nervous. You suspect that someone is watching you. Um, someone or something. There is a pool of water here. It's stagnant and smelly, and there is a thin layer of green scum on top. The pool is frozen around the edges. The tile floor before it has two depressions, as if many creatures have knelt before it. Yeah, let's not touch that stuff at all. Let alone drink it. That sounds like a really bad idea. 
Uh, you will have to be very careful walking down this passage for fear of bruising against the totems and grisly trophies. This trophy room houses the remnants of the Slith's most valued victims. You see a lot of cramped writing carved into the north wall. Okay. We also have a book here and some... Huh. Interestingly, now invisible... No, invisible. Now invisible Aranea things. And some fine steel bracers. All kinds of stuff, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... I don't think I want these. At all. Uh, but we do want these. I'm sure they're going to be useful at some point. This is suspicious as all hell. At the end of this chamber of horrors you find a pedestal. The scrolls on it are covered with tiny cramped inscriptions. A brief ins inspection reveals that they describe rituals, not good ones. Cruel, sinister, magic magical rites. They look dark, but they also look interesting, almost compelling. I know it's a bad idea, but I'll examine them. When you touch the scrolls, a shock runs up your arm. You double over, retching. The sacred scrolls have judged you and found you unclean. Unclean? Or maybe rather too clean? Huh. Is this actually a thing? Can you become unclean enough or clean in the eyes of this scroll to be allowed to use... Oh, wait. Bathe in the stagnant pool. Cringing, you rub the foul water over your arms and hands. Ugh. Apart from making your smell worse, it doesn't seem to do anything. Fortunately, a towel was left nearby to get the worst of the gunk off. But I want to be unclean. You double over? This Wait. Drink some of it? Makes you gag, but you manage to choke some of it down. There's gotta be a way. Hmm. Weird. Bathe again? I don't want the, to to get the gunk off. When you f then you ah maybe I just had to do it enough. Then you feel a strange warm sensation. It briefly covers your entire body. You seem to have passed some sort of test. Examine. You read the runes slowly at first, then more intensely, unable to turn away, gripped by the detailed, compelling descriptions of corrupt, foul rituals and horrifying rites. You even find yourself muttering some of the incantations to yourself. This can't be a good thing. Fortunately, you finally reach the end of the dark litanies. You have been deeply disturbed, but with time your mind recovers. Mostly, you, st mostly, you still feel slightly unhinged. <laughs> dark thoughts. An item. Um, excuse me? The terrifying images you saw in a Slicerkite tome are still in your head, disrupting your peaceful moments and infecting your dreams. You are forced to learn a few mental tricks to recover. These will help you to maintain your focus in battle. Okay. Seems like a bad thing, though. Or at least a thing that will have both good and bad effects. Hmm. Help you maintain your focus in battle. So is that like a, a hidden buff of mental resistance? Well, she has a 90% mental resistance, which is kind of crazy. I guess that's from her high uh, intelligence stat. Hmm. I mean, I, I'll just accept it, and I hope that it actually does something good for me. Hmm. I feel slightly uncomfortable about this, but I guess I'll, I'll go with it. We have a button here. Oh, that leads to a boat. I, w I had been wondering, because this certainly looks like a place you can only reach uh, over the water. The passage in front of the dock has long lines of runes and religious pictograms on the floor, on the floor, floor walls, and ceiling. You can't make any sense of the symbols. You walk past them. Okay. Is that a good idea? Hmm. Doesn't seem to be hurting me, so that's good. Hello, Chief Fessos, and your huh, Fire Fang and Little Bernie. That's kind of kind of cute. As far as fire lizards go. Oh, and of course your shroom tenders. Huh. I guess the chief was currently oh, or is currently inspecting the, the shroom gardens. Hmm. 
Well, if nothing else, we have a lot of enemies to deal with here, so I'm kind of cautious. You meet the massive chieftain, the leader of this clan of cruel raiders. He is out taking his pet lizards for a walk. Okay. When you enter his small farm, you find him feeding scraps of bloody meat to them. Then one of them sees you and snarls, alerting the chief. He stands and raises his spear, eager to destroy the invaders. Okay. Get it snared, but at least you'll be able to stab little Bernie here. Okay, also quite tough. I have a feeling that I might want to kill these beasts first. Um, I want to heal you. And I guess otherwise just start blasting away. No haste, also Sofnir is taking a lot of damage here. Yeah, he's probably dead. I should have group healed. I don't know why I was so stingy. Certainly wasn't a real reason for it. No haste. Return life. No haste. <sighs> okay, at least looks like we're gonna kill this guy. Okay. And another guy. Well, the good news is that so far, neither of these lizards have uh, tried breathing fire on us. Okay, well, the chieftain is in melee range. But we seem to be doing fine. No haste. Just not being very lucky in that regard. Okay, you get hasted. And you kill the first of the lizards. And the second one. Awesome. These guys are nothing to worry about. They're stunned. It's okay. Actually, want to apply this one. Stand there and blast away to victory. Okay, attack twice. Uh, oh, you're not actually. Xas is not actually um, stunned anymore, which is cool. Chieftain is going down, unless he has some nasty trick up his sleeve. The wounded Chieftain lets out a bestial roar. It echoes down the corridors, making you shudder. Then he charges at you, waving his spear. It is truly terrifying. Or is it? Well, terror resisted. There he goes. You slay the largest and strongest of the slips in this tribe. The chief roars in pain and anger as he falls. He struggles mightily to cling to life, but it doesn't work out for him. Well, works out pretty well for us, though. Fine cloaks. Slith War Spear. Ooh. Uh, that is some good damage. Well, it's only slightly higher physical damage, or uh, max damage, than the Hellbird. Also, it does not have the cleaving effect, of course. It does have a, an additional 10% to crit chance. Wow. That, together with the Perry Gauntlets and other things that might give him extra crit... Uh, yeah, the, this Redskin Shawl, for example. Yeah, and nothing else, but, you know, that's still a pretty good thing. Pretty good spear. I do like the cleaving, though, and it is, it is a 40% chance to cleave. That tends to happen pretty often. Hmm. 
This is a tough one. I like the idea of using the Slith Wasp here. Again, mostly just because it's a Slith Spear and it feels right to use it. Shield Chan? Eh. Hmm. Slightly less armor. A bit more chance to repost. The critical hit chance is, is nice. That's going to end up making up for some of the damage loss from the cleaving and make for better single target damage in the long run uh, I don't know, I like both of these weapons honestly, if I find a really good magical halberd I guess I'm gonna go with that instead, but for the time being this little wasp spirit is uh, oh, you have seen us somehow Will you come here? Yes. Yes, you will. Wow, that was a good crit. Did not expect to get a kill there. Okay. That's the kind of crit I want to see. Another crit. A hundred. can move. That's fine. Uh, what did you drop? Hmm, nothing useful, apparently. I mean, we've obviously dealt with the biggest threat here. Interestingly, I mean, there is an upper an upper level to this place. Also, there is lots of enemies around. Hmm. I think we're gonna be fine. I'm sure I saved after killing that boss, right? <laughs> I mean... I couldn't possibly forget about doing something like that. That would be silly. Slip mage. So, yeah, there is an upper level to this. I wonder what's there. I mean... We have officially killed the leader of this tribe, so... What else could there be? Why don't you stand here instead? Yeah, that should work. take out the mage and the shaman if I can. Although that one hasn't done anything yet, but okay, this also is not looking good. First things first, level up. Um, yeah, 26. Could probably use some extra endurance, but, well, it has been going up on its own at an okay rate. Can also... I guess I'm kind of focusing on crits with him, huh? Wait, oh, he can't... Yeah, we'll do this. Uh, perfect health. Yeah, I mean, the increases get smaller with every level, but... I guess it all adds up. It's now up to 186. Eh, not great, but, you know. Okay, you... Oh, you skipped your turn. That's bad. Hmm. Health-wise, I mean... Nobody's super critical. But I guess the shield chat can hurt. Uh, can't hurt, rather. And... I'll try... Taking some of them out of commission here. Oh, we did days one. Not the three guys who are just... Who are right here. Okay, that gives us a chance to kill that guy. Yes, this is a good time for a mass healing. And uh, you take a step back. Oh man, if I if I hadn't done that, wait, we can still salvage this. Okay, good. I think this will 
hit and probably kill the shaman. There we go. And it even missed the the, the dazed one. <laughs> oh, you can't what? You can't move now. <sighs> it's always something. Well, yeah. Just shoot in this direction. Mobile again. Oh, just wait. Um, you have no way to actually shoot this guy, so maybe kill him with a smite? Not quite. I guess he's gonna wake up sometime soon anyway. Might as well. Shoot him now. Yeah, that was to be expected. Alright, so we have some enemies left over here who didn't join the fight. So we'll quickly take care of them. Uh, what? That's not what I expected. That's not the expected behavior. Okay, that guy somehow... I guess he didn't necessarily know about Atandra. Just was just trying to reach the rest of us here. Hmm. Shoot him? I was hoping for a second shot. And he changed his mind. Fine by me. Sure, I mean, he, he took an arrow in the face from this direction. I guess that's a good enough reason to turn around. Um, is there anything useful in here? Doesn't seem like it. Some stuff left here, though. Including, <laughs> including, <laughs> including, including a crude halberd. Oh man. Yeah, it looks like we. Hello there, treated leather. I mean, it's not as good as I first thought, but it's special, all right. It's kind of unusual. Lots of stuff lying around. Our junk bag is actually getting quite full. I mean, not that we'll ever really get full, but you know. We'll, we do have a lot of stuff to sell. There's another staircase up. Interesting. Get the smithy here with only a single usable spear, apparently. You have seized control of the Slith's nursery. In the pools all around you are dozens of eggs and baby Slitherikai. The children aren't developed enough to look at you with fear. If you were so inclined, you could easily kill them all right now. It would be a cruel act, but it would do fatal harm to this hostile clan. I mean... I'm not going to do that? If I kill all the adults... I mean, realistically... I don't know, depending on how... Uh, self-sufficient these young Slitherikai are, they might survive, but uh, they might also just die naturally, because, you know, they're not getting fed and whatnot. But uh, if there are no adults the Serikai to to raise them to hate humans and fight humans, they might actually not become our enemies once they're grown up. You know? Um, that's my reasoning here. Uh, this is not the right thing to do. 
Uh, down to two piercing crystals. I know where to buy some more. Wow, really? Another one. Well, I guess this is at least worth a lot of money. Do I want to use my last one? I mean, I might as well. There's a chance that it's not even going to work. I think I'm going to save this one. Okay, that's too high level. Good to know. So I'm going to take a note about that. This is the hidden slip base. Probably not the official name. Barrier 3. There. There, there. Okay, uh, what else? There's the boat with which we can actually reach this middle island. I didn't see that little spot there at first, so that's certainly something I want to check out. And also whatever is in here. Right, it's being a boat. Of course it's going to get stuck on every single um, every single little, little rock in the water. Some incense, all right. So what is this place all about? It's just suspicious as hell. This island is dominated by the statue of a huge male slith. His two-tine spear is raised above his head in a pose of triumph. An inscription at the base says his name. Sss. Statues of smaller slith warriors surround him. At the statue's feet you see a huge pile of skulls from all sorts of creatures, humanoid and animal. It's a gruesome trophy collection gathered by this band of savage slitherkai. Okay. Steel javelin. And a platinum ring. Hmm. Okay. Is that really all there is here? Is this, does this count as an evil altar to sanctify? I doubt it. But I might as well try, I guess. Nope. No such thing. No altars. No dark altars nearby. Okay. So just some money and some flavor text. And we are going to take these stairs up. Let's see what what else there is to this place. Secrets, secret sliths. <laughs> That's just what it's called. Okay. Well, we do have lots of mages here and vicious pit lizards. Okay. Hmm, I can't really reach the mages. Or can I? No, I can't take a step toward it without losing all my action points, so... Might as well attack from here. Hmm. Tempted to just throw out some damage. Instead of buffing. Shaman was signal. Okay. Uh oh. Don't get dazed. Ah, damn it. Okay, at least they didn't kill her. That's that's good. Almost killed that guy. Um, yeah. Kill her. Now we can certainly use some haste. Maybe it would have been better to actually kill off some of these guys here. Ouch. Yep. Certainly would have been a good idea. Uh, I'll have to use much of my my mana here, my remaining spell points. At least she's able to devastate them. Take revenge. Okay. And she gets bitten by the vicious lizards. that aren't actually all that bad, turns out. Okay, 
26 strength. Um, right, that's still. Lockpick is still maxed out, so we go for more of this. And I could give you perfect health, but it's gonna make a very little difference for now. So maybe. Huh. Maybe fast recovery? No. Nah, not worth it. Good fortune. I mean, that's always an option. It looks like there's only a single rank, a single rank to this too, so it's just something I could pick and be done with it. You know, I feel like that's a good thing to have, probably. My shield, yeah. Oh, oh right, I forgot about the shaman actually, and a single nephar is here. Okay, they're all coming. <laughs> okay, nephar is thing special. Oh, he's really running low on. And spell points. But we should also be getting close to the end of this dungeon, I guess. Should it dead? Oh, that would have been so perfect. Well, you can do it. And, uh, well, you can get a bit closer into this. Okay, that guy does not have a lot of hit points. Ouch. Shoots back. It's only fair. There we go. Uh, I guess this must be uh, the temple up here. Whoops. Uh, did I just. I might have just picked something up that I didn't actually want. But that's okay. Piercing crystal. Oh, oh, that's really good. Really good. Um, feel much better about using two of those downstairs now. Stone shatter. Um, right. I guess I could have been using some of these instead of using the, the actual spell. But I kind of forgot that I even had these in the first place. Speed burst scroll. Okay. Uh, right. We have some of these. Something I need to keep in mind, too. Because those are actually quite useful. Hmm. Okay, hit point wise, we're looking mostly okay. I could be healing, but I also kind of want to conserve my spell points right now. The floor of this passage is covered with several inches of foul, stagnant water. To the south, the tunnels echo with the sound of hissing from large reptiles. Cool. Okay. Are these reptiles, actually? I guess they might be. I've always thought of them as something vaguely insect-like. I guess maybe not. Hmm. So it looks like we won't be reaching the upper side of this of this ledge from here. But of course there was the other uh, staircase leading to the upper level. And I have been wondering if the if they both lead to the same area here. Oh, Drake uh, Isvias, and lots of Searing Crawlers. This is actually bad. Huh. I'm probably screwed. That's fine. I think. 
Uh, oops. Let's not do this. Or, hmm. Should I haste first or try to... Uh, incapacitate as many of these as I can? Uh, the age-old question. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna haste. It's probably a bad idea. Yeah, at least just deal too much damage. Thankfully they have a hard time hitting us, but not hard enough. Yeah, especially when that happens. Ouch. Uh, did I actually quick save? I did. Okay. I thought so, but I wasn't sure, actually. Would not have been the first time. Okay. Let's deal with these things again. I should have manually made sure not to stand right there, but that's okay. I think. <laughs> what am I doing? There. Okay, they both attacked her, but that's not too bad. Because, of course, we can heal her. We can miss. Uh, can lightning be removed? It can. Okay. That's good to know. Alright, so there is nothing here immediately. I mean, we're probably not going to get very far with those spell points, but... Might as well give it a try. Oh, okay. That works? Wait, or it doesn't. They actually don't... Ah, oh, there we go. Now they've seen us. Let's retreat back here. Wait for them to come. And if the drake wants to come around the corner as well, I mean, that might actually be working in our favor. Wait, are they not coming? Ah, oh, goddammit. Yeah, it's just gonna stay there. Okay, actually, now a couple of them are on their way here. Uh, you probably should heal here. Going to. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be really nasty. That was a really good hit. Um, kinda need to mass heal, unfortunately. I can't really afford it. Let's try doing this. Actually, yeah, that works. Hasted. Very good. The drag is actually really strong. And the fact that we almost killed a lot of these crawlers is not gonna help us a whole lot. Okay, the drag decided not to kill us all with a breath attack. You can move freely, but you cannot move Oh, you can move past this terrified one. So you can actually reach this guy and attack. You can heal her. Do I heal or do I uh, remove the debuff? I think I want to heal and give her regeneration. She gets hasted again. Really lucky. The Drake itself is still 
quite capable of killing us. If it so desires. Let's see, stand there. I don't know if the Cape Widow is worth actually worrying about. Maybe. Um, shoot the crawler. Uh, I would have. I would say it would have been worth it if I actually killed it. I mean, I can't do that now. Okay. Uh, haste is not running out immediately. So do this. I could kill the Cave Widow. I could actually try dazing, stunning, and snaring the Drake. I doubt it's gonna work, but I'm gonna give it one try. Yeah, okay, I just straight up missed. And we got killed. Well, Swafnir was. You know, yeah, I'm I'm going to drink a potion and resurrect next turn. Oh, there's another crawler. And there's the fire breath. Oh my god, the damage. It's insane. <sighs> and we miss. That's not a miss I could afford. Revives a fallen part. Okay, so resurrection was just heavily nerfed in general. Uh, I kind of want to heal myself. I mean, I kind of have to heal myself. No haste. That's not good. Heal. I should have at least taken the freaking potion. Oh boy. Take a step. Oh, can't afford these misses. Okay. This is not looking very promising, but I'm gonna try my best. And, um. Uh, Actually, try to push them away. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. GG. Ah, too bad. I was looking really good there for a moment. Wow, and now we can't hit anything. That's that. Hmm. This is gonna be tough. I could be. I could try to cheese this even more, lure more of those worms away without the drake. I could be uh, retreating to the lower floor to reset the encounter, all kinds of things. Hmm. Or I could just leave this drake for later. What I'm gonna do first, before I do anything more about this encounter, I'm, so I'm gonna check out the other staircase. See, see where that leads me. This one is actually not very well hidden, but it is hidden, so... We'll see. Maybe it gives me some kind of advantage over the encounter. I kind of doubt it, but... Oh, okay. It's literally just for some extra loot up here. And some extra basilisk slaying. Okay. Terrified that one. Quite a bit of money. Curing elixir. And that's that. Can't just drop down here. Well then. That was that. Not especially helpful. Hmm. I kind of want to get rid of this drake though. I mean, I could always at least refill my spill energy, so I don't have to um, so I just don't don't have to manage my spell energy quite so closely. 
give myself a lot more freedom as to how to approach this encounter. Uh, did I check this? I did. Yeah. That's the least I should do. It's not very hard to return here whenever I feel the need. And for adrenaline is right here. Uh, Ward of Steel? Hmm. Yeah, since we don't have Ward of Elements, I guess Ward of Steel is probably still my best bet. The dragon is gonna hit hard enough as it is. Cloak of Blades, still only level 1. I mean, at this point I have enough money to actually just buy the other level. I guess that's what, that was probably at the Tower of Magi, huh? I guess I, I have a couple of reasons to return there, including two doors that I forgot to uh, to open. And of course I can use t the, the portal there to return to the Vanatai lands and do a couple of things there as well. But um, that's a little bit of a trip that I don't want to take right now. It's also unlikely to actually make a difference in my with my current dilemma here. Oh, okay. Looks like this vicious lizard is always going to respawn. couple of things I haven't tried. Um, of course, I have I have not really used any resources, like Speed Burst specifically. Certainly a thing I can use, and that would give me quite the edge in this encounter. But it's kind of a last resort thing, because I've, I have quite a few, but they're still in pretty limited supply, so I'd rather not use them unless I absolutely have to. That should go without saying. So... First of all, I want to see if I can lure some more of these cave crawlers out of there. Well, I see one there, and I guess that's a start. Hmm. Can I reach it from there? I can. Okay. I even hit. What do you know? Okay, there is another one coming. Actually, I probably just... I wrote all of them. Well, that's not ideal. Yeah, I can do this. Chances are that these guys are going to lose aggro now that they've killed all the targets they saw. I'm not sure exactly how the AI works in this case. I guess we're going to... I guess we have just found out. So they did not actually come after us. Some of them even started walking away, it looks like. Hmm. I don't assume I can do much from here. Yeah. Lightning damage is a little bit insane. Ultimately, this is probably... Oh, this is just too much. Ultimately, this is probably a, a better way or a better position to fight them in. Of course, with them shooting from the back, that is not ideal. I don't want to use a group heal, but without it, Svafni would have died. I hope he survives now. Yeah. Should be able to do something from here. Like this. Okay, we did stun one of them. That's something. I kind of 
one retreat around the corner. So that's exactly what I do. Uh, what? Why are they not coming? Oh, because they're ensnared. Oh man, I'm so dumb. They're trying. They're trying their hardest. There we go. And there's the drake. And at least three crawlers remaining. That's not great. Uh, try to cripple them as much as you can. Nope. Well, got one stun. And somehow the drake didn't do anything? don't need any new buffs right now. So I guess I'm just gonna do this. Oh, wow, what? That did nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, this should at least hit all of them, kill one of them. Oh, there's more of them. Oh no. Okay. Almost. Um, heal everybody. Okay. Ooh, this is sketchy. Hasted. That's good. These guys joining the fight is not good at all. It's quite the opposite. Oh no. Oh no. Ouch. Stand on the side just so that maybe the drake, if the drake decides to use breath attack. Oh, haste. Okay, that gives me a chance to revive and put her right there. In the middle of harm's way. Oh, no. Oh, wow. He somehow survived and he died to electricity right away. Of course. Oh, boy. These things are a problem. To say the least. Yeah, the rat is dead. I'm not sure how much of a priority it actually was, but there we go. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't help me much. Yep, that's what I thought. And I'm out of spell points again. Turn life. Um, try this again. I mean, the drake is ensnared, so... Oh, wow, that actually helped us quite a bit. Snullbug is... a problem. I almost want to run down here and... kill the crawler. Oh, that was not the great hit I was hoping for. Resurrect. Um, haste. Oh boy. The drake is actually being somewhat crippled here, which is amazing. Heal. Huh. Try to control them as much as possible. <gasps> we actually dazed the drake. Oh, he was nullified. Not the worst thing currently. There. Wow. Oh boy, how do we play this? Um, well, you skip your turn first. So we can start this afresh. Uh, 
Uh, you still can't do anything but shoot, so you do that. Oh boy, I don't like this at all. Oh god. Uh, okay, he's actually gonna survive. Okay, we give us shield chant is is the best damage she can deal. I think so. I um, mean, yeah, I can do this. Give it an, a debuff for what it's worth. Ouch. Getting nearly enough bonus attacks here. Oh, and she doesn't have haste anymore. That sucks. Oh, it's getting so close though. Okay, we're somehow still alive. Heal. Haste. Oh, and that did not affect Tantro, of course. Because I'm dumb. Okay. We still live. Haste. There we go. That's what we need. <gasps> we, we did it! Yes! Wow. Against all odds, we somehow persevered. Amazing. Radiant Boots. Uh, this is a terrible reward. Not gonna lie. That's not... Not great. Um, but we did it. We did it. Everything was worth it. We have this thing to crumble and no spell points, but we do have scrolls. Scrolls. Uh, what does she have the stone shatter, actually? That's a priest spell. And that is too strong. Hmm. Oh, actually, we can just barely use this. Oh, that works. Interesting. So our spell is... Wait, but it's still only level 3, though. Wait, uh, only level 2, I mean. Um, num, num. Uh, stone, move mountains. Where is it? God damn it. There it is. It's only level 2. Huh. So the spell must be... Oh, the scroll must be level 1, then. That's good to know. I thought it was always level 2. This narrow ledge rings around a deep shaft. It extends down out of sight. You try to estimate its, de its depth by dropping pebbles into it, but you don't hear, the hear them hit the bottom. A smell like rotting meat wafts up from the depths. It's both, it's both nauseating and disturbing. The side of the pit here is somewhat rougher than elsewhere. It looks like if you wanted to, you could climb down. That seems like a very bad idea, but it's good to know. I mean, there's got to be some meaning to it. It can't just be a, a trap since it required me to break that stone, right? I mean... Hmm. Got a good assortment of of herbs here, but otherwise this seems to be the main thing that the, the drake was actually guarding. Huh. I mean, where could it potentially lead me? To some additional level to this place? Even worse than this one? Try to climb down? You start to edge your way down the pit, but before you can even make it down 10 feet, you see creatures below climbing up towards you. They're moving very fast. You barely manage to reach solid ground before, uh, above you before the creatures catch up with you. Oh. Okay. It's, I mean, it's just whites. That's the good news. really not so bad. Okay, uh, let's try that again. Uh, okay. Okay, so... Huh, that's interesting. Banshees. 
Banshees are bad news, especially since our healer is completely out of spell points. What? Oh, I, someone was afraid and ran there. Yeah, I didn't realize. Um, I wanted to check. Okay, yeah, he's nowhere near leveling up. So, uh, even if we end up beating these Banshees, and I'm not sure if we will. I should have hasted there instead of attacking the one. Yeah, we're dead now anyway. Hmm. Okay, I mean, we're going to have a series of encounters here, quite obviously. Increasing in difficulty every single time, but... yeah. I'll definitely have to refill my spell, po uh, spell points before I even attempt this in earnest. And I probably also want to do something like leave the rest of my party here while one of us runs ahead and triggers the fight. That seems like it's probably a very good idea to approach this place. Um, but it also looks like we're going to do that next time, as much as I would like to completely finish off this dungeon. Uh, but that seems like it's something that's going to keep me busy for a while longer. So I'm going to call it an episode here. And we're going to continue that next time. Uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.